Hey guys, it's Alyssa. Um, I'm going wedding dress shopping today with my sister. It's also the same day as the Caged Elephant concert. I'll try to vlog as much as I can before the concert, which probably won't be much. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. She's a stone cold. I'm waiting in line with some of my friends. Okay, bitch, my chips. <laughs>
to the end of my Cage the Elephant vlog. If you don't want to hear me talk about the concert, you can just click out or whatever. But I'm going to talk about some of the things that happened at the concert. I got there at 4 with my friend PJ. I could tell by the way we were in line that we were probably going to be third row. And we ended up being second row barricade. So that was really cool my friend mia told me she was coming and she brought me and my friend pj food and mia brought one of her friends so yeah and they were both really nice and chill and everything was fine we were just talking she was like hey do you know who i don't want to use actual names she was like oh do you know who allison is and i was like yeah and she's like okay well what do you think about her and i'm like she's okay because she's okay like we're not like besties, but we're not like, I don't fucking hate her. So, um, she was like, well, can she come wait with us? And I was like, sure. Well, Mia didn't tell me that Allison was bringing her friend, and but that was fine. I was like, whatever. Well, security takes us to a different place to line up now. We stood there, I think, for like 30 minutes until they started letting people in. And we're all like standing there, and then Allison has two friends come up and there's like two different lines we're in the general admission line and then there's another line for like the balcony and stuff so we're all standing in the general admission line and then these girls are like oh my god allison and they start hugging this girl and i'm looking and they start going under the rope and stuff and i'm looking at these girls and i'm just like uh, what i don't fucking know you and so I like get pissed off because I had been waiting there for two fucking hours and I don't know these fucking girls so why should I let them cut in line with me? And they turn around I'm like I don't mean to be a Cuntosaurus Rex but I don't know either of you and I'm the person who waited in line for hours and I don't fucking know you guys so it's like what the fuck like why should I let you cut in line with me if I don't fucking know you? <laughs> And so, but then they started letting people in, like, as I was saying that, so I couldn't, like, do anything. But if we were still going to be standing there for even if it was going to be two fucking minutes, I would have had security escort them to the back of the fucking line. So we get inside and we're second row barricade. Now, if you've ever been barricade, you know that there's two rows in barricade. First row and second row. First row is actually on the fucking barricade. Like, they can lean on it and stuff. And then second row is just second row because the way that barricade is, is, like, it has, like, a, um a step it's like a step above everybody else so we're me and my friend pj our second round barricade and my friend mia and her friend are right behind us and then this band called twin peaks which i ended up getting a shirt from them this band called twin peaks comes on and i really enjoyed them they were so good and i highly suggest you check them out then um portugal the man comes out and they were okay, I was kind of disappointed. I was really annoyed that their hype man was on stage the whole time, because usually hype men are only out like before the act and then they like go away. But no, this guy was on stage the whole time and it was kind of like, I don't know, just like killing like the vibe and I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I'm just gonna let this guy do his job, like whatever. Now they're setting up for Cage and holy, People start pushing and shoving, which is what I'm expecting. I've gone to plenty of concerts, so I know how general admission works. I know that when the headliner's about to come out, people start getting a little rowdy and start pushing and shoving to get to the front. But if you're like all the way in the back, why are you trying to get second, third, fourth row if you're all the way in the back? It's not gonna happen, that's just fucking rude. Um, so, People start shoving my friends and they like, I'm expecting people to get pushed and shoved, but don't separate my friends and me. And people start shoving because there's this girl that's like handing out stickers and it has tell me I'm pretty on it. I got one. People like all the way in the back are trying to get up for these stickers and I'm like, you're not going to get up to the front. If you're not first, second, third, fourth row, you're not getting a sticker. So why are you fucking trying to like... Don't be an asshole. But there are these two girls that were not barricaded in the first place and they ended up shoving PJ off of barricade and I was really fucking pissed off about it and I'm like, oh no, this is not happening. So I grab PJ and this girl and like switch them 
and everything's fine. I'm starting to get kind of annoyed with fucking people because everybody's starting to be just plain rude. I've gone to fucking heavy metal concerts and people have more fucking etiquette than fucking indie people. I swear to fucking God. Because I've never had this problem at any fucking other concert I've gone to that's like heavier. No, Because nobody gives a shit. Cage comes out. And it's like the first or second song and there's this guy that I saw was all the way to the right of us and was like a row back and he somehow made it like third row or no he was like two rows back he somehow made it right behind me third row and I was like what the fuck and P he like literally pushed PJ PJ off and so I start fucking hitting this guy, like, I'm, like, elbowing him and shit, like, not in the face, because then I could get kicked out. And he's like, whoa, like, I'm sorry. And I'm like, okay, well, you pushed my friend off, like, that's not fucking cool. But PJ is just kind of, like, chilling out now, and I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, it's chill. And then we're, like, three songs in now. We were, like, three or four songs in. And there's this girl that I'm pretty sure was drunk because my friend Mia like was like what the fuck like she was giving me Mia was giving me this look and then looking at this girl like what the fuck and Mia was like I could tell was uncomfortable <laughs> and so she was just like what the fuck is wrong with this fucking girl and I think this girl was drunk or she was just fucking illiterate I don't fucking know she starts like just like pushing all my friends away from me so now i literally have none of my friends beside me like me is not next to me or behind me and neither is her friend or is pj and so i just start hitting this girl like not in the face once again and she's like you wanna fucking go and i was like okay well you're shoving my fucking friends away from me like i said i don't care if you push or fucking shove but if you're going to separate me from my friends go the fuck away it's like and what i don't understand is she was fourth row i think at the beginning of the night i think she was right behind my friend mia during like twin peaks and shit which is like that's a good spot so i don't understand why you're trying to get to the front if you're one of the first five rows because you're in the fucking front like stop trying to shove and push if you are already in the front like that makes no fucking sense to me i couldn't really hear her that much over like the music and shit and so she's like you want to fucking go and i'm like you need to, i was literally like you need to chill the fuck out because you're pushing my friends away from me had this been the second to last song or the last song i would have punched her in the fucking face i would have been banned from the joint for the rest of my fucking life and that would have been fine because this bitch was so fucking annoying and like after that she kind of like chilled the fuck out and i don't i didn't really have any problems afterwards but like the, i don't know and the whole crowd kept like butchering cage's lyrics and i was like what the fuck like it, it was the cage was good all the bands were good it was just the people there that made it shitty and made it a shitty experience and i was kind of disappointed with that because last time i saw cage everybody was chill and like bleh, like chill the fuck out and like nobody gave a shit but for some reason, this time, everybody was just being fucking assholes. So, whatever. But, yeah, that was my concert experience with Cage. My next video, I don't really know what it's gonna be. I have some stuff going on right now. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Last time, last time, last time.